Welcome back to Montana this morning. And right now we've got Dr. Simon Atkins with us live from South America via Skype. And Dr. Atkins, we had a look at your forecast and contrary to where we've seen a lot of the other forecasts going, you're predicting temperatures to run close to average, maybe a little warmer, but above average precipitation as we look through the short term. But right now, let's talk about how you come up with these forecasts and your long term outlook. Absolutely, Ed. That was absolutely correct. What we're doing is we're doing something called solar magnetic forecasting. We've been doing this for over 15 years. AFC is 22 years old this year. And what's happening is if you look on Google or any other search engine, you look up heliomagnetic energy, helio being Latin for sun, it's actually sending out positrons, which is antimatter. Now, when this slams into the top layer of the atmosphere of Earth, it's called the magnetosphere. Well, magnet, that's attracting the solar flare energy. And what happens is it ripples down and it causes many more extremes. Even the Federal Reserve knows that solar flares actually causes downturns in financial markets too. So it's not just the weather that's affected, even our health is affected because we're all on that same frequency of Earth, which is guided or manipulated by the sun's magnetic energy. Well, lately we've been seeing a lot of pictures and people sharing things, a lot of solar flares creating northern lights across the region, and it seems like we've been in a pretty active period. Is this short term or is this something that's going to go on for a while? Yeah, this is actually going to go on for quite a while, and you just brought up a very important point. I know like hedge fund traders in New York City that are taking trips up to Northwest Canada because the northern lights or the aurora borealis are so amazing and that will continue into your winter. The, the, basically, Ed, the top of the Earth's atmosphere has all these magnetic lines, and there was even a research student down in Australia that came up with lots of electromagnetic tubes that actually go over the planet. And this is how we're getting our new range, long range forecast. And I tell you something, going into the 2020s, Montana is not only gonna get windier and cloudier and snowier, but it's gonna get a lot colder like the good old days were in the 60s and 70s. Okay, and speaking of a long-term timeline, you've got one here as well that, uh, that you sent to us to share as well. Yeah, well basically NASA has broadcasted or published a lot of the sunspot activity. And what we've done is we've taken that and we've made algorithms as to compare it to global temperatures. And the next cycle, the solar cycle of 11 years, starting in the 2020s, indicates with a very high probability that the globe is going to go much cooler, which is obviously anti-global warming. All right. Thank you very much for your outlook and, and your perspective on things. I wish we had more time to talk, but we'll have this posted at ktvq.com and people can check out the interview. Beautiful. Thanks. Aloha from South America. See ya. Enjoy your summer weather. Yes, it's coming. <laughs> we'll be back with more after this on Montana This Morning.